DCC 30082 Industrial Building System Topic Building Components Outcome Construct Green System and IBS Component with Compliance to Measurement of Modular Coordination and IBS Score Hybrid Wall IBS stands for Industrialized Building System. The IBS system is a method used in the construction of a building where it involves the process of incorporating various structural components that have been produced in the factory into a building at the construction site. One of the branches in IBS structure is IBS The innovation produced is the hybrid wall. Hybrid wall is a rectangular wall panel with a size of 3 by 2 feet. It is a combination of polystyrene, wire mesh, and cement mortar. This hybrid wall is produced to cover the exterior space of a small-scale building. This hybrid wall will be able to absorb noise pollution and heat from the sun's rays. Before the production of the hybrid wall project is made, a briefing session is held to ensure that the manufacturing method can run smoothly. The main components to produce hybrid wall are polystyrene size, 3 by 2 feet, wire mesh 1 by 1 inch, iron Y6, cement and sand. Iron Y6 and wire mesh will be cut according to the size of polystyrene 3 by 3 feet. After the reinforcement component that withstands the compressive and tensile stress is ready to be cut, it will be installed on both sides of the polystyrene. The next step is the process of mixing cement mortar for the purpose of plaster on both sides of the polystyrene and has been clamped with wire mesh. The mixing ratio used is 1 to 3 where 1 bucket of cement and 3 buckets of sand and 15% water calculated from the weight of both cement and sand. Fine sand will be used to smooth the surface of this hybrid wall. The next step is the cement mortar plaster process on both sides of the main polystyrene component. This cement mortar will be leveled to obtain a flat, even and smooth surface. The neat condition of the hybrid wall surface is very important because the surface of this panel does not need to be plastered anymore. The finished panel will be left to dry for three days before use. This is to ensure that the mortar is completely dry to guarantee the strength of this hybrid wall panel before being installed on the construction site. The next process is to make a footing layer on the building structure. The purpose of this footing structure is to get a flat surface at ground level before this hybrid panel is installed on it. After the footing layer is ready, lightweight batten will be installed on the bottom and top sides to give a grip on this hybrid wall panel. After everything is ready, this is the result of the hybrid wall and it will be produced more to cover all the construction spaces.